Hello and welcome to this very quick tutorial on how to create a PayPal button that you can use on any platform um, and for your website and things like that. Um, I'm Allison Denise, owner and master designer at Graphic uh, Branded Beautifully Graphic and Web Design Studio. And we're gonna have a super quick and easy tutorial today. So let's jump right in. So here we are in PayPal on our summary dashboard. That is usually the first thing that pops up when you log into your PayPal account. So in order to create a button for your PayPal account, we want to go to the top toolbar here and select tools. Now there are some options here. If by chance you have already added the create buttons uh, to your favorite tools here, then you will find the selection here. If you have not, then you can go to all tools as you see here at the bottom. So we click on all tools and PayPal is showing us our available selections for our tools. So we're just gonna scroll until we find PayPal button. Here it is. Now, if you do not have this in your list of tools here, as I stated before, you can put it there by adding it to your favorites by clicking on this little heart, which will turn red, and then it will be added to your, your favorites. So um, we've done that. So next time we open that up, it'll be there. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and click forward into PayPal button so that we can create a new one. So as you can see, there are different types of PayPal buttons that you can create. For purposes of this demonstration, we will be doing a buy now button, which is probably the most common PayPal button that you will need to create. So we're gonna click on buy now. Oh, before we move, let me say this. If you want to edit a saved PayPal button, um, the way you do that is come to the same screen, but instead of clicking here on buy now or whatever type of button it is, go right up here to the right corner and click view saved buttons. It will take you to the buttons you've already created and then you can edit those buttons. Um, but for now we're creating a new one, so let's hit buy now. Okay, so now that we have clicked through to the next screen after clicking create button or buy now button, we are in the create PayPal button screen. So the first thing we wanna do is scroll down a little bit and we're going to do step one which is choose a button type. Uh, so we're gonna do that by clicking here, which technically you don't need to click anything. The buy now option is already selected. Um, we're gonna give our item a name. So let's just say this is for a book that we're selling and I'm gonna call it my new book. Um, whatever your product name is, that's what you would put in item name. Item ID is optional. Let's say I'm gonna sell my book for $17.95. I will put in $17.95 here in the price. US dollar currency is what's needed for me. You select what is appropriate for you. After which, that is all I need to do here. That is all I need to input for um, step one. So now I'm gonna come down here. Well, let me say this. If you want to add shipping, you will do so in this box. Tax also in this box, okay? Um, I am not adding shipping or tax to this button uh, because it's not necessary, but if you need to, that's where you would do it. Um, once you have entered that, you come on down here to step three. You do not need to do anything in step two for purposes of what we are doing here today. Skip down to step three. And what this is saying, okay, do you want the customer to be able to change the number of books that they're buying in this order? I'm going to say yes. If they wanna buy 10 for their book study group, then I want them to be able to purchase 10 at one time. Um, can your customer add special instructions to a message? I'm going to say yes. If they wanna say, please autograph the book to my daughter, Denise, uh, they can do that here. Uh, do you need your customer shipping address? Yes, I do need my customer shipping address. I'm gonna leave that on. You can click it off if necessary. If you have a custom um, thank you page that you wanna send people to uh, after they've purchased, 
you can put that in the second box here by clicking on this um, checkbox and then putting in the URL for that custom thank you page. If you have, if you want them to go back to your website, if they cancel the transaction, you click this button on and put in your web address here. I'm gonna leave both of those off and everything else is good. So you've noticed we've only done a couple of things. We put in our buy now button, our name, the name of our product and our price, possibly shipping, possibly tax. And then we skipped all the way down to step three and answered these three little questions. That is it. Now we're going to hit create button and wait for it to do its magic. The button is done, right? So here's what we need now. In order to save this uh, appropriately to use like in a button on your website, you don't want the website code. That's tricky, I know it's confusing, but you do not want the website code. If you do, when you put it on your website, you're gonna need to put it into a code box and do some code stuff and it's gonna look just like how you see it right here on your website. If you wanna put it in a custom button on your page where you can add a URL, you wanna use the email version. We have the website version and the email version. You want the email version, so click on email, double click and copy that link. And that is it. If you want to go back and make any changes, you can hit go back to edit this button. If not, then you're all, you're all done and you're all set and you can log out. And that is how you create a PayPal button, a buy now PayPal button to use uh, anywhere, uh, especially on your website with buttons. Um, so I'm gonna go to my save buttons really quickly. You can see it is listed here under my new book and there's different actions you can take. You can edit it, you can view the code, you can create a similar button, you can delete it, or you can create a whole new button, okay? So I hope this has been helpful. Again, I'm Allison Denise of Branded Beautifully Graphic and Web Design Studios, and this has been a tutorial on how to create a simple PayPal Buy Now button, which can be used in places like your website. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, brandedbeautifully.com, and I will see you online. Ciao for now.